since I'm not going down a steep mountain, I want to bring it up to about here. Okay. All right. So All right. do you want to keep the snaps in there? I'll go ahead and tap the holes. Let's tap some holes. Okay. And let's leave the snaps for now. All when right. They change well, it later. Right. But, well, yeah, they're holding it all up. Mm -hmm. I think this is harder to punch than the leather. Yes, ma'am, it is. You got that nylon cord to go through the middle. This beta is 650. 50 psi per square inch, and uh, it's tough. Yeah. I'm still tore it up, and you got a mountain that the mule rolls down the side of. <laughs> that makes a mess of things really quick. So, well, well, there. You see that brought the breaching up. We'll tap some holes. It's sure nice to be with gentle round, gentle mules. In the past, we've had such bad ones. Really? I wouldn't even let people get in the arena with me. Uh, do I have this one set about right? The breast collar? Oh, the saddle. And breast collar. Yeah, we'll take a look, see. We'll get you adjusted up here first. Get that all lined out. Look like the saddle was setting pretty decent. Yeah. Of course, you see the open spot here. That opening is to keep from putting pressure upon that spine. Those mm -hmm. three bumps I was showing you, yes. right mm -hmm. in here, you can feel them. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the back of my saddle comes up. Yes. And that's kind of usually how I like to ride and pull it up. Okay. So it doesn't just sit on the back. Now it'll go back down okay. a little bit. But if you pull it up, then it'll start. It'll start okay. right. All right. Should be fine. Well, okay. Go. Okay. This that gives you a couple more holes. Right. Let's take a look here. So we got the saddle. Go off the edge. Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. And then did did you put your cinches? Yeah, we we put those close enough together. Okay. I want to get another rear cinch of yours to replace that. Okay. Yeah. We um, can sure fix you up. Yeah, you got a 36. Then, where you need like a 34, I think. Probably. Yeah. And then let's try a finished bit okay. on him and see. We can do that. See how he does on that. I'm going to turn your stirrups here. Alrighty. And uh, where your 80% of your accents is getting on and getting off, reaching down and adjusting your stirrup, mm -hmm. getting your foot. So if we turn them, when if you're going to store my my uh, saddles, mm -hmm. uh, always. Like in your trailer, tie them up like this. Oh, all right. All right, and if you look at my saddle, them, they're both pointing in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But I keep them trained to keep a stick in them. Okay. But when I unravel this, they'll almost be staying in place. Okay, and you twisted it back. You twist it. Towards the back of the end. Yeah, I'll show you. On both, on, so both sides, you know. On both sides. Okay, so I'll untwist it. Yeah. Now, I want it. You see how it's starting to shape already? It's going to be here. Yeah. So I want it to be curved in here, so I will turn it clockwise. And the more I turn it, then this uh, uh, will start having memory uh -huh. and will stay in place. Okay. And then if you store it like this in your trailer, that's a great idea. Then not only are the stirrups out of the way, yeah. you know, but you, 
they'll stay the way you want them to stay. Okay. I did the same thing over here. Again, when I pull this thing down, mm -hmm. you can see it all now actually starting to stay in place. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go. Turn it towards the back. Yes. Twist it towards the back. Twist it toward the back. So okay. You got this is the curve that you want. Mm -hmm. So you just start twisting it up. Okay. Yeah, notice back here how it's not touching. But as soon as I do this, now it's touching. So we'll take and punch another hole here. You want the system to fit flat. So you see, as soon as I take this up, okay. now it's gonna fit flat and it'll keep you from wearing just in one spot. Mm -hmm. So there, that made the difference. You can adjust it really on both sides because they're gonna be a little bit different. So what we got here, if you look over here, we got the gap underneath here. Okay. So we'll tap a hole and it's straight. Mm -hmm. And it's just enough gap underneath here. See how it changes? Uh -huh. That's what you want, so that it fits completely flush. And then, what we used to, what we have is, the old mule skinners used to keep around a little can of urine, and they would splash on the places where the hide would be uh, being wore off. I prefer to use a mouthwash. I think it's a little cleaner. <laughs> Listerine, something like that, and splash on it. It'll toughen it up that way. Okay. So. There you go, you're set there, you're set there. So that in good place. position. Yep, saddle's in good position. You're, you take him, and uh, it might be a little bit forward now that I feel it, because your scapula's right there. So I think I'd move it back about an inch. Feel it right here, the top of your scapula right there. Okay. You can't slide your hand down in. So if we loosen up the cinches here. Yeah, you can shove your hand down in there. Might set that saddle pad at the back of your dorsal strike there. Yeah, if you take, and I tell people, if you take the edge of my pad and you put it right on the edge, right in here, then those two are even, that's where the saddle pad should be. Right where the height of the saddle pad and right where your scapula, they should be touching each one and each another. So now that we've done this, now that we've moved it back, now we'll have to readjust these. Right and left over here. Okay. Once we get this adjusted, then it'll be in place every time. Yeah. As long as you get the saddle on the right side. Yes. Well, you get to where it's kind of muscle memory uh, when you slide it up into place. And, it's inevitable when I see no. uh, saddles on mules that go too far forward. Most of it's got to do with not tight enough breaching or not uh, tight enough rear cinch and then a breaching that's uh, not adjusted correctly. So see, now that it's breaching, now we got it at an angle like it should be. It sits flush against the hip. Mm -hmm. As you can see right here, here's the perfect picture. See where you've only been rubbing just in one spot? Mm -hmm. Right there. It's been rubbing in one spot. If the breaching was set in flush, you wouldn't have it just rubbed in one spot. Mm -hmm. So see, now that I've adjusted this breaching to where it's set in flush against the hip, it'll help eliminate that. Because even though this is rounded, mm -hmm. 
it's still going to cut hair because it's, it's at an angle. So it's like a razor doing this. But now that you get it flat, it's going to be like this. So we got, that's the perfect picture right there. Okay. Right there. That's the perfect picture. That's a misadjusted breeching. Anytime you should see the whole width of this thing. And especially when they have their winter hair, it's, you know, that winter hair is going to come off pretty easy because it's not as heavy as, the, as your summer hair, okay? So it'll come off pretty easy. But here you can use a little mouthwash and toughen it up. That'll even get white flaky. But that's a perfect example of having a cinch on, a, on an animal's back and over, over doing it here. But it's been, it's when it's sticking <coughs> up on the bottom and only hitting on the, on the top. Okay. So now that's it's hitting good. flat, now it's hitting flat. And up. Deb, pull this in here. <coughs> yeah, I think you slept there. Great. You betcha. Okay. You betcha. Good. All right, so we're adjusted there.